before the actual video starts i quickly want to make sure that you guys actually run the program from a folder that doesn't have a space in it um, otherwise steam cmd will not be able to download the files to the proper folders so just make sure you do that and then everything should work as intended and as i show in the video enjoy Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that downloaded USSR. We never expected to hit 2000 downloads already, and uh, we hit almost 100 downloads a day um, consistently for a long time, as you can see here, and it has been downloaded in more than 80 countries. So that's pretty ridiculous, and I hope you guys are all enjoying your server, because most of the uh, response was really positive, so thank God. <laughs> anyway, um, We've been working on some updates and I quickly want to show you guys what is new and give you the download link. So if you need any explanation, there will be a, a link in the video description to my other video that shows you what the program is, how to use it and what it does. Um, I will just only go over the new things in this update and just watch that if you need it. There's the staging branch and if you click on that, it will download the staging branch files instead of the normal server files. And you also need the staging branch client from Steam to be able to connect. If you don't know what the staging branch means, just look it up on Google. It's basically where all the updates get pushed to during the month and at the end of the month, all the staging branch updates that are finished get then pushed or updated to the main game so if you want to be the first to check things out as soon as they are basically available to check um, that you can now also set up a staging branch server we added a map preview so whatever seed or size you have here um, and whatever you have selected tab wise it will show you if you click refresh um, except from the custom map because there's no map files for your custom maps um, but it, for example hop is you can see the map um, or baron or savas or whatever you choose and for example if you change the seat size or whatever um, and press refresh it will get a different uh, it will show you whatever map you chosen as you can see just press refresh also it checks um, what st start files are here there's nothing now so i will generate a start file click refresh and then I, I can see that this is the procedurally generated i can click it and start so you can now start your server from inside of the program and if i for example create a custom map one and click generate click refresh it will also be there so i can choose what server i want to start and then start it um, if i would start this procedurally generated map you can see that there is no um, umod installed so i cannot run any plugins just give it a second to start up it started up and as you can see one of the last few things it says is just server started checking uh, news item definitions blah 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 blah. so it says nothing about oxide and um, we added the option now uh, you have to close your server first if you click install umod and then download and install it will download the newest version of umod or oxide whatever you're used to calling it and it will extract it and now uh, it says installed umod if you now run the server the same as before it should give a message that uh, umod has been loaded and at the end it will say um, if you have any plugins in your servers uh, in your in your folders and if you have any plugins in your folder here it says loaded oxide uh, or umod it's basically the same thing it used to be called oxide and then they rebranded it to umod i don't know exactly why but it's exactly the same thing so you can now also install oxide or umod and there will be a oxide folder here with your plugins and that's where you put all your plugins if you don't know how to work with oxide or plugins you can just check my channel i got videos on that lastly i added a donation button and you can either donate to me um you could if you click on skins you will get my trade link um well if you log in trust me you will get my trade link um and you can for example send me some uh, skins that you don't want to use anymore or don't care about um i for example i don't really care about skins and i want to do giveaways and do like events and stuff and be able to give people like little prizes and stuff so all the shitty skins uh, big skins of course also if you don't use anything and you want to give it away you could give it to me and um, I will use them for giveaways and stuff like that. So that's a good cause, I think, because together we can make then somebody happy with it that actually cares about it or wants to use 
integrated into the game. Um, if you rather uh, do a PayPal donation, there's also a page for that. And also, if you want to support Atsito, uh, who's the guy from the map making community, um, he give, gave me this link to you. So if you want to donate to him, he's the guy who has been helping me fix bugs and um, basically have, make sure that everything is working properly if I have any issues with whatever I'm trying to do because I'm still pretty terrible at programming. Um, so that's also in and that's all for this update. Mainly the start and the, uh, the map preview were the two big things that I wanted in. And if you want anything in the next update or you're missing some features or you have any problems, bugs, please leave me a comment. Also if I helped you out and you got your server running, uh, thank you would be nice to know that everything is working as intended. So I hope this is helpful. As always, thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace. Ah!